Greetings. I just got in the car. It's 40 degrees. Um, I got my new music on that I lost for about 20 years. It's not, it's not new, but it's new to me for right now. But look at this granite. Isn't that gorgeous? Ooh-wee. I found some palm stones today that when they get polished or sprayed, they are going to be beautiful. You can tell the potential in that one. That's a unikite pretty sure. Um, and then I got some hearts today. And that is because I have been learning to love myself. And I actually said I love myself today. And I was rewarded. Let's see what the pack looks like. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's got a lot of potential. Uh, let's see what we got next. How about a black stone with some pink light red pink uh, splotches, which some of you are gonna be thinking, ooh, Galganda Tylite right away, right? And you might be right. It's not the best specimen, but it's got the red blotches. Let's see what else have we got. Um, this one, oh, this was like, I was like, come on. I kept getting rewarded with hearts. <clears throat> and I was like, almost ready to say quit. Quit doing that. And I found <clears throat> a Petoskey heart. Yes, that's going to get polished. And on the back side is basalt, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's clay of some kind, maybe. Uh, it does appear to have a little bit of fossil soup in it, but not much. It doesn't really jump out as that. So that was a really cool find. Let's see what else we got. We got a... This one's got potential if it's cleaned off and polished. It's a fossil. Um, let's see. And this one is a stretch at being a heart, but it's a nice black stone. And there is some banding on it. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. But there's like stripes. This one's interesting. Um, it's definitely a fossil of some sort, but I don't know what. I don't know. Probably have to take pictures. You probably can't see that. It has some little divots in it or something. They look like divots. Mm. This one's really cool. When this gets polished, it's gonna look good. I do it in the Vibe polisher, which shakes them instead of rotating it. And so that way it keeps its shape. That'll be cool. And I think that's probably enough for now because this is getting long. It's already four minutes. Um, but I will speed it up. I'll speed up my voice and the monks are gonna sound kind of funny, but um, I don't know, maybe I'll keep going. That has potential. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here, but it's definitely too sandy to tell. This is a pretty striped one. We call that banding. I'm trying to get it wet to show, to show. Yeah, it'll show better when it's polished. If you want to make a stone pop and you don't have a polisher, um, you can do it with mineral oil. And you can also buy sprays. Hit me up if you want to know how. This one's got interesting formations in it. I think it was trying to be a Petoskey or something, but I'm not sure. And this one's pretty. That'll be pretty polished. A little yin yang thing going on. And then, oh, we have another pocket. Woohoo! Uh, here's another heart I was rewarded with. And that's a stretch. That's not really a heart. Let's see. Oh, this was one of the first ones I found today. That's a beauty. That's gonna be beautiful polished. Um, what else we got in here? Okay, let's just do that. Hmm, mm, mm, here's a good one. This is gonna be great polished. It's got some quartz in it. I can't get it on my hand, 
See the quartz? So it's quartzy. I always love quartz. Quartz is the master healer, you know. If you put quartz with any other stone, it magnifies the stone's energy. This is a really beautiful one. That's gonna be a nice pendant. The shape will stay the same. It will be, it'll be a little smaller. Mm, oops. Where'd they go? Okay. Um, mm, mm, that's about it. I mean, there's... What's that? Oh, this one was huge that I found. A nice piece of granite. It's gonna be a great palm stone. There is somebody going swimming. I'm gonna turn the thing around. You'll see. Oh my gosh, can I? Don't go yet. There he goes. Look at that. Good for him. Damn. Wow. I should be doing that. For my pain. You can go in an ice chest thing. And it helps with pain. Wow. Good job. Wow. I'm just... That's awesome. I wish that was me. Wow. I'm glad he has the guts to go in alone, man. I can't ever do that because of how I was tortured as a child by my family of origin. Still can't relax in water. Wow. One last stone if you made it this far. This is an amazing piece. Um, I would classify it as unikite, but it's got jaspers in it. Um, maybe some epidote. It's beautiful. This was one of the first ones I found today, too. That's gonna look beautiful, polished. I mean, it's beautiful as it is, too. Might leave it like that because the less you mess with the stone structure, the better the energy is. If you start grinding it up and stuff, you're changing the energy of the stone. I'm told. Bye for now.